Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So on a recent cruise, mom and I went to all kinds of fun places, Aruba, Bonaire. Oh, I don't even remember. It was four or five days, seven days. It was a great trip. But we found so many Pandora stores, literally the most Pandora stores I have ever found on a cruise before. Except for perhaps like when we go on a Europe cruise and uh, go into a city. You know, when you're in Paris, of course, there are plenty of stores. But when you're on a cruise ship in uh, the islands and you are kind of restricted to more of the local ports, you say you're not going into town, you're not going to where the local stores may be, um, you are kind of more restricted to those cruise port shops. We found so many Pandora stores. We even found a Pandora store in the port store, like literally the store they always make you walk through to get from the ship to the port and then out onto the island in the store. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of everywhere we went on this specific trip, where the Pandora store was in relation to the port and what I picked up. So even though we found I want to say five Pandora stores. It might have been four. Four or five Pandora stores. I picked up two charms. I picked up a charm from Aruba and I picked up a charm from Bonaire. So I'm going to show you those two charms up close and personal. I am very excited. I've been wanting this Aruba charm for a while because it's pink and y'all know I do all the pink charms. And the new uh, little cruise ship is my second charm from Bonaire. I have the original cruise ship, which is silver, on an earlier bracelet. But this is my specific cruise bracelet. And I wanted this cute little charm because he matches the leather of this seashell bracelet so well. And Bonaire actually is one of the few places that engraves charms and they have engraved this with Bonaire on the bottom. So I figured I'm gonna pick it up anyways. I would love to have it with a location on the bottom. So I will give you close-ups of both of those as well as where the port stores are and uh, the other items that I did not purchase. The other thing I will say before we get into this is I have been on plenty of cruises at this point. This is my cruise bracelet. This is my travel bracelet. Each one of these charms represents a cruise, uh, not a cruise, a port that I have been to on a ship, okay? And so I've been to a few, and this specific cruise to Aruba, to Bonaire, um, for some reason, the Pandora charms at these locations were the most expensive. Even the ones in Europe were not that expensive. And so it, it's kind of the island tax when you're on an island and they have an island exclusive, they can kind of charge whatever they want for it because you can only get it here. Your only other alternative would be to go online and to purchase one that may or may not be real. So if that's what you want to do, go for it. No judgment from me. Um, but if you're looking for a real charm, you have to buy it at the shop and the island or from someone you trust. So that was interesting. Let's get started. All right, outside and looky here, a Pandora sign. The gentleman taking a picture in front of it. Hopefully that means there is a Pandora in the port. So it's probably not a Pandora store. It's probably a Pandora counter at a shop, yeah. but that might be good enough. Let's see. Yeah. All right, bull shins. Let's find out. Okay, so it says it's on Havenstraat and show on the map where we are. Havenstraat 25. So we are down here by the water. Yeah. And it says it's on this street right this here. This street right here. So we're just going to go over there. Walk up here and see if we can't find it.
right, y'all, before I go, here's a quick look of what the port looks like. You get off the ship right here. You can see you'll walk right down all these little booths and you actually get out of the port right here. So once you get out of the port, there's another little row of uh, booths. And then the first Pandora shop is right here, right at the end of those booths, right when you get out of the port. So that is your first stop. From there, you can walk all the way down past Diamonds International, uh, past a bunch of other stores, and right over here past this pink castle building is the pa second Pandora shop that I showed you. So we got into the second Pandora shop from the back entrance. There's a front entrance as well. So you can see it's easily walkable. You can hit both shops if you like. The first shop had only the three charms, but the second one had a lot more options. It's a pretty big port. Um, there is a third store over here to the left, but you'd have to take a cab to that one. But you can access the first two easy enough. All right, so this one says Aruba with the starfish on one side with the CZs all the way around. It has the cutouts and it has little turtle and the hot pink plumerias on the other side. I love how colored it is. It's a very bright charm, which is nice. Oh, where is it? There are shopping center. Oh. I wonder where. Let's find out. Does it have an address? Found the Pandora booth. Let's see what they got. You're fine. Yes. 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 All right, y'all, so right down from the ship, you can see if you walk all the way down here, you'll see the little Pandora sign. And here we are, Bedazzle, Adelise Bonaire. It did not show up on my map, but you can see Pandora right in here. And it was on the little map, so we found it. All right, here's a close up the little Bonnier charm. This is of course the new cruise ship. So you can get it unengraved, uh, order it right off the website. It will look identical, but without the bottom engraving. Has the little dangling anchor, the rope at the bottom, the heart cutout that goes all the way through, the little port windows, the little bow of the ship, the smokestacks even has a little uh, deck all the way around. It's so cute. And then on the bottom of the charm, it has the engraving that says Bonaire. I just like when a charm does double duty. I could have gotten this brand new from Pandora, but it wouldn't have said Bonaire. And I could have gotten a exclusive Bonaire dangle similar to the you know, the Hawaii dangle or any of the other islands, but I liked, I liked this little option. I was very excited about it. That was a nice addition to the bracelet. Even if he is top heavy. Pandora there on the end. Let's get it to focus. And the other end 
is just the ship. Right, back in the land of tourist stuff. And a Pandora counter. All right, first stop. Let's see what they've got. No, those are all the new letters. Yeah. Flip over the one on the left, Mom. That's what's going to And that is it for all of the ports on this cruise. So we went to Aruba, Bonaire, La Romana and Amber Cove. We found Pandora stores at three of the four ports and I purchased two charms. So if you want a full look at my current cur cruise bracelet, I will link that down below. And I hope that this video helped you if you are going to any of these ports in the future on where to find the stores and what you might expect when you get there. Bye y'all.